Hey guys, today we're going to look at how to put a, uh, a gun in your player's hand. Uh, we'll start with a third person tutorial, or a third person template. We'll go ahead and build that. After this is built, we're going to go ahead and actually exit out and go back into the uh, Epic Games Launcher and we're going to go to our library. Um, first you're going to actually need to go to the marketplace and download a package. Um, I will leave a link in the description. It's going to be the uh, FPS weapon bundle because I've already added it. Um, it appears in my library and I can add this to a project. Uh, again, I'll put a link in the description and uh, that way you can get that. It is a free package. So once it's added to the project, we're going to go uh, back into our project and open it up. And now we're going to have the assets available for that package, which are going to include the gun that we're going to use. Okay. So now that we're in the uh, third person example, we'll go into blueprints and third person character. Now with this, we're going to go uh, to the viewport so we can actually see our player and we're going to click on the mesh. Once we do that, we're going to hit add component. We're going to add a skeletal mesh and we'll call this uh, gun. Let's try that again. Uh, we'll add the skeletal mesh and we'll call this gun and now that we've done that, we can come over here and um, select which gun we want. So in this case, I don't know, let's use this AR. So now it's brought the gun in and it's at the player's feet. What we're going to do is we're going to click on parent socket here and we're going to attach this to one of the hands of our player. So um, let's do the right hand. Okay, so now what it's done is you can see this gun is moving with the player. It is not positioned properly yet, uh, but we can work on that. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to go to this arrow here and we're going to uncheck real time. And that's going to pause the player so that we can actually start manipulating the position of this gun. Okay, so first, uh, the gun's obviously facing backwards. So we're going to use our rotate tool. And... Uh, let me slow the camera speed down a little. It'll make it easier to move. And um, this, if we change the snap size to 1 instead of 10, it'll allow us to more precisely uh, move the gun. So let's see here. First, let's start by rotating that. Uh, we got a lot of moves to make here. Okay. And then we're going to rotate the gun this way. So this isn't too horrible. Again, you can go and do a lot of tweaking with this. Actually, that lines up pretty good. The finger's going through the trigger. The thumbs are on the back. It's really not bad. Uh, again, you can do a lot of tweaking and rotating and moving to make this uh, perfect if you want. So now we go back and let's turn on the real time again. And you can see as the uh, player is moving in the idle position, so is the gun. So let's compile and save that. And now let's go into our third person example and hit play. And we can see the gun is there with our player and he is running with the gun. Cool, perfect. That's really all it takes to attach a gun, a knife, a sword, uh, anything, uh, a coffee mug, anything you want the player to hold. 
uh, it can all be done in this manner. Awesome. Uh, thanks for watching and happy coding.